All right, so let's take a look how we can use, guys. We talked about using moment, the algo, automation with momentum. Automation with momentum. We just had another trade fire off here again. Just a second ago, you could see it. Automation with momentum. What does that mean? Okay, so all this is crude oil this morning, getting a lot of action in crude. There's a runner on the algo right now, 300 ticks as we speak. It's still running from the initial position earlier at 9 o'clock this morning. That's around 9.50. So let's take a look at how can we use this momentum chart to find out when these markets are possibly going vertical, but then use an, automate, an automation algorithm to pull in a trade for target stops and trails. So this is the momentum chart. And then this is the automation. Automate algo. Zone algo. All right, so these two charts work really good together. So right now, the update we're getting out to all our members is that we know that you know how to use the momentum chart because that is when we turn all six green or all six red, all six green when we're bullish, with my three zones, which are six lines. So when they turn all six green, we have a big momentum coming in the market. And then when we turn, see, we're all six green. One, two, three, four, five, six, all six green. Then when we turn all six red, we have momentum to the downside. So this over here is an uni Rinko bar. And what this does is it shows my zones where the automated zone algo likes to get long. This is where it got long this morning on the way up. So we'll go back to originally where it started. So if we look where it originally started was 9 o'clock. I actually started earlier than that. So we started at 7.45. It first target break even plus one. And then it got into four long here at around 9 o'clock. But let's show you how, let me show you how you can use the momentum chart, which you have, all members have this chart. We use the momentum chart when it turns all six green or all six red because we know the market's in a possible vertical move. So let's go back and see when this firstly initially started. So if you have, check this out, if you have red above you, red or yellow, and you have green below you, you're in an oscillating market. And all members have this chart. This means the market's not trending. It's not conducive to retracement trading. We don't want to look for retracements or the algo will get stopped out. And you will manually get stopped out quite a bit on retracement trading. So we want to stay away from this type of oscillating market. If we have our zones above us are different colors than our zones below us. If we're green below and red on top, then that's oscillating markets. What we do want to have is we want to see momentum in the market. Obviously, everybody knows gas prices, so crude oil has been a hot, hot market. So it went as high as, what, $120, $125 a barrel. Got back down just below $100. Now it went up 300 ticks just today. So it's a very neat market to use the momentum chart with. And so right now we are... This morning at 8.50, we were in an oscillating market. The first sign of momentum in the market comes when this algorithm turns all six green, all six of my zones, one, two, which is three of my zones actually, which is six lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is when you can actually let the algo, turn the algo on, and let the algo find the sweet spots of the zones in the market automatically. So here is the vertical line. This is where it started, right there. That's where momentum started this morning on crude oil. So now we can look for retracement trades. We can look for what? WPT trades, trying to catch the rolling position traders, the counter trend traders, any big vertical moving market. So what I want to try to do then is I want to try to look for retracements using the WPT trades. 
So without the algorithm, let's say just without the algorithm by itself, let's say you're just using this chart by itself, you're looking for WPT trades. Opposite color speed bars, opposite color speed bars, opposite color speed bars for reversals. Opposite color speed bars for reversals. As you can tell on the way up, now watch. Here we go. Opposite color speed bars right there, and then we look to get pulled into the market. This is how we've been doing it ever since we released the program. Optic color speed bars. Our oscillator below here gets above. We don't even need the oscillator below now with the update. We don't need this oscillator because it automatically shows you an error when this happens. But there's your pull in right here on crude oil this morning. So you can see just using this chart by itself shows you momentum trades. Here's my optic color speed bars. We have serious momentum in the market because we turned all six green uh, lines. There it gets above. And here's your long again on crude. So what you can do now, so this is what we've been doing all along ever since we released the program. We just basically, and you look at all the videos, the past 10 videos I did, trading momentum, this started it right there when it first turned all six green. All right? That started this whole momentum this morning on crude oil. And that started at what, 90? Uh, we're right around $100, $100 a barrel. And just kept moving up, okay? Now, how can we use, how can we use the momentum chart, I mean the algo then when it first started, how can we use this chart, the algo to, to use automation with momentum. Well, the momentum chart turned six green all the way back here, so let's take a look at it. What time was that? That was at 901. So then you turn your automation on because they're already preset. So 901, we turn the automation on. So 9 o'clock, right around here, right there. You turn your automation on, and then we're looking for what? We're looking for it to take buy retracements. This will automatically put your targets in. This will automatically uh, put your stops in, and this will automatically trail for you. So you can see our ATR trend filter on the algo is up. It's only going to look for buy retracements when these WPTs come up. These Optic color speed bars. So when these speed bars come up, as you can tell, it's getting long. Because there's momentum in the market. It's getting long. It's getting long. All the way up. Because it's looking for WPT trades. With ATR trend. There's ATR trend. So as we go up, it keeps adding contracts. It will never expose you more than four contracts total because it has a runner, it has a 300 tick runner that's all the way back here still. It initially goes along four contracts. So if you do the minis or the micros, it's probably the best way to start it to get to understand the system. So what you would do is you wait till we turn all six green or all six red on the momentum chart and then you can let the algo find the sweet spots in the market. Right there, turns all six green. Algo's turned on, and it finds these sweet spots in the market all the way up. As long as it stays green, this zone, it's going to keep buying retracements. Now, what it will do, depending on your target you set, it will never expose you more than four contracts long. So if you're doing the micros, it will take out one contract here. So there's three contracts still running. And add another one when there's another WPT. Now you got four long again. Takes out one here. Adds here again. Four long again. Takes out one here. Adds one again. It will keep doing that until we get stopped out. So as you can see, it kept adding contracts all the way up. It still has not broke my trend yet. My trend has been up since 7.30 this morning. It's now 10.05. So it's been buying retracement since 7, what was it, 30 this morning? I'm sorry, it's been buying retracement since 5.30 this morning. This is when it first started flipping over from, from green to red. Green to red. It's been green since 5.30 this morning. 
just taking all these retracements up as far as that goes. Now, you can change it in the algo. Let's say that you want to have larger runners, and you know you can change everything in the algo. It's a little bit longer uni, but you can see you can change this from here's a 20 second targets a thousand third targets a thousand so there's a lot of big runners here but you can change it to let's say we go 40 60 and then the last runner will keep it a thousand All right break even plus one after your first target so if you wanted to do that you can do that also you can change your targets depending on the time frame you that you change it's still going to look for retracements with the overall trend. So when you change that, now what it's going to do, it's going to hit 20 as your first target. It's going to go break even plus one down here. Break even plus one. If you have a break even, a BE plus one, or it's going to keep the runner running. So. You can change your targets depending on how that you want to um, how you want to expose yourself on the market, depending on the time frame you want to do. But that's what the algo is designed for. The algo is not designed to work in chop markets. So if you're chopping back and forth like this, you see how it's red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. This is chop. Red, green, red, green, red, green. But that's just the algo by itself. You're going to find out right away by the momentum chart is if it is turns first all green, if it goes from having an, all the ATRs above that are red all, and the ATRs below are green, that's an oscillating market. Right when it changes to six green, that's when you can use automation to your advantage because the market is possibly going vertical. When the market policy goes vertical, that's what we want to see. Look at that market. It takes off. So we're trying to get involved with the algo into these WPT trades, trying to catch the wrong counter trend traders. Now what are we in? Right? We got back into an oscillating market. You can turn the algo back off if you want. Turn it back on when you get back into um, six green into a possible another big move up to the upside. And this works for all markets. It doesn't matter what it is. If you use the S&P, when you turn, turn six green or six red on three of my zones, it's pretty much telling you that there's a high probability chance this market's going to go vertical. And that's what we need to participate in. We need to participate in vertical markets. Where traders tend to fail is they trade chop markets or oscillating markets. If you trade oscillating markets, that's how you're, that's how it's, you're going to get hurt, right? So if you look here, that's when it turned all six, all six green. So if the market's going vertical. So it doesn't matter what market you look at. You look at the Dow's the same way, Russell 2000, NASDAQ futures. Now we're going back into oscillating market. You can see we're red on top, green back below. You know, you can, when you first turn six green or all six red, it lets you know if the market is going to go vertical on your, here's a WPT sell, here's a WPT sell. So this chart by itself, the momentum chart, is really neat because it lets you know when the market's gone vertical. So there's your vertical market. So this morning on the Dow, the market started going vertical again. So it lets you know if you are if you are red on top and green on the bottom, you're you're in an oscillating market. So stay away from this. Stay away from retracement trading. Now we get below. Take the first retracement, now we're back into trend trading again. So using the momentum chart over here allows you to position yourself with momentum. And with that, retracement trading uh, works quite well because what you're doing is you're putting yourself in a position of trading strength. You're, you're, you're trading trend, vertical trend strength. So this new update we're getting to you guys, the algo would like to look for retracements with that trend strength. All right, we'll go to the conference calls on how to do that, all that stuff. All right.